Okay, I'm black and white. I'm gonna try this again. I've tried to make, I don't know how many videos a day. It's just not a video day. Um, I'm going to be training more people for voice lessons, okay? So if you are somebody who's been trying to get your voice better, call me or no, you have to call me. Actually, I don't think my phone number is on there. PPVTmusic.com. That's all you do is go to my bio and see my website. You go on my website, book a trial lesson with me. A trial lesson is the best way. I need to hear your voice. I need to find out what your weak areas are. I need to find out what we're going to be working on. I can't help you and you don't, I don't like people booking lessons and sessions with me until I've met with them on a trial. You can do those online. Um, we just do them on Zoom and uh, just make sure you have a speaker or some kind of microphone not speaker, but microphone so I can hear you um, better, okay? Uh, I've taught people all over and the United States and in Canada and other, any place that you speak English. So I don't speak any other language but English. So yeah, uh, my trainer was Robert Lenti from the Four Pillars of Singing and he trained under Master Kyle who was also a trainer for Queen, not Queen, uh, Ann Wilson from Hart, uh, Chris Cornell, he trained I Queensryche, if you're like into that stuff. And uh, anyway, so The Four Pillars of Singing is a book that Robert has written and also derived from a lot of the training uh, modes and methods that uh, Master Kyle taught him. Um, there is 12 different um, routine or um, vocal routines you work we do uh, with onsets 12 different onsets I should say like a track and release wind release um, cry vocal cry uh, you know um, track and track uh, we have a lot of different ones so um, I don't have the book in front of me right now but uh, you can go on to the four pillars of singing and um, I'm about $75 an hour so depending on if you want to book a lot more sessions sometimes I give like a little bit of a break if you book more than like six sessions, if you book more than that, I give like a little bit of percentage off. Um, it can be kind of spendy if you just book one time, but all the, you know, here a session, there a session, it gets, you know, you're spending a lot more money. And uh, it's nice to have a little bit of a commitment and a little bit of a um, routine that you know you'll be practicing. All singers need to be warming up and practicing and training to stay healthy and get their voice in good condition. So um, I train all ages, anywhere from um, mostly 10. I, I like starting, I don't like starting younger than 10. I mean, I have students here that are a little bit younger, but they just do like a half hour, 20 minute, half hour with me or something. And they're just learning a little bit of just the vowels and just like intervals and um, up and down shifting. So breathing a little bit and sound and pitch, basically pitch, but I've trained students how to perform, how to be on stage, um, and uh, I, I'm still training my voice and still working on my voice and still um, learning a lot that I am doing. And I sang a lot, a lot in high school and at solos and at places that people asked me to sing and only had choir training and then um actually after my piano i was into my piano company and doing more piano and tra training with piano i went and got professionally trained with my singing so um i just started out slow and just kept growing and building and building uh my knowledge and my training basis and i went to school i went to you know college in the past i'm really old now so that was a long time ago <laughs> so um uh, a lot of different theater stuff I worked, I did in school and did my bit, my majors in business and, um, uh, I had dance studios. So I have a lot of different, um, art in my, my past and in my, my experience in my career. So, um, yeah, so I, you know, just go to professional panel, vocal training.com or PPVT music.com, which is like P is in Paul, P is in Mary, or in, Paul and Peter, V's and Vicky, T is in training, okay, music.com. My name is Marcy, and um, get a trial lesson set up, and then, um, and make sure you put your correct email in there so that when you, you pay for it, 
and you you pay for it. It's a thirty five thirty seven dollars the trial lesson. It's a half an hour um, that they can send you a reminder to your email so that you know when your your appointment's coming up and whatnot. And in that little thing that you're going to fill out, you're going to put in um, a little bit about your background, like some areas that helps me prepare for the trial lesson. Okay. That's basically what it is, you know, like, how, do you have a piano at home? I just want to know, like, how are you going to be using stuff for pitch and sound and things like that? Especially if you're not going to be at, at my studio, we're going to be doing online. Or how long you've been interested in singing or playing the piano? Because I have it geared towards both. So there might be questions in there that you're like, that doesn't really apply to me. It means, um, you know, are you, you know, what's your favorite type style of music? Um, how long have you been pursuing this? You know, you can add more things in there that you're wanting to need, what your needs are. I think there is also that, that kind of question there as well. And then, um, and then it confirms and I confirm it. And if there's any changes, you just say, Hey, I need to change it. You just go in there and just click to says you want to change. It. It's on Calendly. You can change it. Okay. Um, anyway, so, and, uh, yeah, so that now is a good time because I'm just wrapping up my spring, my whole semester, my second semester is almost done, will be done the end of May, like May 25th. So when that's over, I start my summer schedule and I get more free time. So now is a good time for, to book stuff for the summer and um, get some lessons in. Um, I've helped a lot of students. Uh, I have a one, one gentleman who's been seeing, has got some training from me and um, learned a little bit more how to get into his head voice and learned how to do more of a, the embouchure and how to hold his, his mouth positioning, his resonant space and stuff like that. And he's made a couple albums and his, you know, he's, he's performing now all the time. Um, I've helped another student she had to perform in musicals. She's younger and I have another student who performs musicals and is in choir. Um, I have another gentleman that has been singing for quite some time. Um, and been trying to just do it on his own after he had some training a long time ago. So he's, we're just picking back up and fixing some weak areas. And that's part of why a lot of adults come and see me is to fix, fix some weak areas. Um, you know, or just what I'm able to hear and see what they can't, or they're just needing specific things. Uh, I think I have, and I have another young student that's really young and, uh, she takes from here, but she's just seeing it for school stuff. Um, and then I have another student that is performing all the time and is in shows all the time and um, is going to want to do this for the rest of her life. Of course, she's not that old. She doesn't know yet, but she may. So this is her thing and this is her, her deal. Um, and then I have another high school student that takes from me. And then the rest I just teach in my piano lessons. But um, if you're learning, wanting to play piano and sing at the same time, uh, but uh, yeah. All right, so just uh, go to my website or send me a little email because my email is in there as well, and I will be happy to answer any questions. But definitely the best way to, to reach me and to get it going is to go set up a trial lesson, and then we can go from there.